It's noon, Friday, um, June 22nd. It is officially summer. And we are coming to you live from Glendale, California. It's myself and my good friend, Karen Mena. Say hi. Hi. Do you want to share with everybody what's your handle? Uh, at Mena Artistry. Yes. Hi, Stiletto Heels. So everybody go follow um, Mena when you get a chance. And she's an amazing freelance makeup artist and does hair as well. Um, so I wanted to showcase a little bit of what I had in my story earlier using the Ben Eye. Thank you for your hearts, guys. And also uh, an awesome brand called Pink Pewter. So I'll be using that um, and doing Karen's makeup. And um, as always, I like to check in with my followers and make sure that you guys are all motivated. Hi, Sarita. So any questions that you might have, hey, Caitlin, uh, please feel free to ask uh, if there is any questions with the poll that I'm taking with uh, blush palette and the concealer palette, uh, please feel free to ask as well. Hi, Ronnie. Um, so yeah, I'm super stoked to be using these uh, awesome new products. I love the fact that they're compact and it's easy to refill when you run out of a specific color. And you can also store it easily in your kit for all you makeup artists that are uh, traveling. Hi, Jen, hope you're having fun at Disneyland. Um, anyhow, so just before I get started, I wanted to make some announcements. I do have a masterclass happening July 16th in about short of a month, and it's gonna be uh, hosted at Studio K, which is in Glendale across the street from my salon. Um, it will be with myself and Cheetah from American Beauty Star and our good friend, Lisa. So it is uh, specialized for stylists that are already in, this, in the industry or students that are recent graduates and wanting to learn uh, color techniques for hair, hair cutting, hair styling, as well as makeup artistry. And the models that we chose are women that have been in shelters that are affected with mental health. So we're super passionate about uh, creating awareness for that. Um, so when you get a chance, go to my bio link and click on that so you can get more information on the masterclass called The Gift of Transformation, July 16th, here in Glendale, California. All right, are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. <laughs> are you guys ready? Show some hearts if you're ready. Awesome. All right, so I'm going to zoom in um, and Karen will try to kind of like be on the lookout for any questions. Yes, we're getting real close and personal. Real close and personal. Real close. <laughs> Hello, Alexis from Arizona. It's the little heels, you're so cute. All right, so we're going to start with her complexion as she is primed already. I'm going to be using this awesome... Ben Nye Matte HD Foundation Palette. Um, I love the fact that you have all your warms and your cools in one container. And then this awesome side, which is the, the cap of your palette, works as kind of like a spatula or a palette, is what I meant. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is start out with um, Karen's highlights, which typically are the colors that are two shades lighter from her skin tone. So when I look at her, she's more olive. So I'm gonna go with colors that are in the center to neutralize and add some warmth. Because even though you might be a cool or olive tone, you can still use warm tones to highlight and open up the eyes. Don't you agree? Karen? Yes. <laughs> are you falling asleep? Sorry, no. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Caitlin, I love that, <laughs> yes. All right, so now I'm gonna focus on the under eye area using this Co Cosmetics Foundation Brush number 116. We love our Co family. Mm -hmm. Everybody always uh, gets confused on how to pronounce Co Cosmetics, which is spelled C-A-O, but I would say pronounce it like K-O, and that makes more sense. I used to um, say cow. <laughs> right, or a cacao. cacao. <laughs> <laughs> we love our friends over at Co. And this is an awesome uh, vegan brush, which you guys know I'm a fan of. And back to the center. So I'm kind of concentrating throughout the T-zone of my beautiful friend's face, in between her brows, underneath her eye. I'm going for a beauty makeup, so just getting her weekend ready. But you know, adding some colors that complement her skin tone. Yes, I love the vegan brushes too. You don't always have to color correct, right? No, not necessarily. If you're like really in a hurry and um, have, you know, really minimal time, just pick a color that matches your skin tone and a bronzer and you're good to go. Like that's a fast express way to get ready. But the technique that I'm using to apply this 
foundation that is cream. It, it's buildable. Right now it's like a sheer coverage. If I add a second coat, it will be full coverage. And I'm like stippling it and kind of pressing it firmly, but not too firm because I don't want to hurt Karen's it, face. It feels really light. I can't really feel it on my skin. Good. Mm -hmm. I know you're putting it on because I'm seeing it. Right. <laughs> you are? Because <laughs> I'm watching. You're watching through your eyeballs? Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to wave to you guys. So make sure that you... Show us the heart so we know that you're active and you're watching and learning. So yeah, if you um, are not from Los Angeles or California or the Southern California area and you don't have an opportunity to be at our master class in July 16th, you can always book a remote class with myself. So what I do is I'll actually uh, FaceTime with you or Skype with you and record it and it's like your own personal tutorial and we can do exactly what I'm doing but I walk you through the steps and you do it on yourself. So that's another option and you would just go to andrewvelasquez.com to schedule something like that and ask any more questions. Looks that good. highlight looks good, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So I think that's enough. What do you guys think? Show us some hearts. Now I'm gonna go with colors that are two shades dark, darker, diker. <laughs> <laughs> darker <laughs> from her skin tone so if she is like a medium olive tone which is going to be typically here i'm going to go darker and the reason i do that with the same brush you guys is to add more dimension so the two together will create this amazing contrast and you can lose up to five pounds for that perfect selfie who doesn't want that right <laughs> Also gonna contour the nose slightly. And you know, what I'm gonna do is uh, purposely contour her left side only so you can see the difference. And now I'm kind of doing like a swiping technique. So because I already have a layer of the highlight under, now I'm, it's easily to add this on top and just kind of swipe it over it and make it look airbrushed and Photoshop. So that's always my goal is to make it look Photoshop so you can use less face tune, less filters, and the more flawless you look in real life, the better your pictures are gonna be. And I do slightly start to kind of blend, thank you, mm -hmm. in with the other color that we originally applied. Very pretty. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, her left side is highlighted and contoured, go ahead and turn towards me. Her right side is not, it's only highlighted. Karen has amazing skin already, so the fact that this is blending seamlessly is making me, it's giving me life, I love it. Thank you for the hearts, you guys. All right, so I'm trying to wave back to you, making sure that I'm giving you guys some love. I see Roxy, I see artistry of her, I see makeup, I see. Stiletto Heel says right, Ephraim says thumbs up. And Roxy, any products you specially love for brides? Actually, what I'm using right now is Ideal. I do love Temp2 for anybody that wants to experience airbrush. Um, is there other shades, palettes in that Ben Eye palette? Yes, there are, uh, I would say, over 100 shades in the Ben Eye collection. You can get warm, cool, all the way from your most fair client to a super dark African-American client. Do you have nose contouring tips? Every time I contour my nose, it looks broken. <laughs> yes, I will walk you through her right side shortly. Um, makeup by CC, so you can see exactly see how I contour the nose. Color Siren, hi. Hi, Color Siren. <laughs> and Christopher Saint, hello. All right, so I'm gonna turn her slightly towards me so, you can, so I can walk you through the contouring on her right side. Again, we're gonna pick a shade that is two shades darker from her skin tone. We're gonna to start on the jawline, which is very easy to locate because that's right where your jaw and your neck meet. And so my technique is to swipe because I've already added one layer, but I'm also like feathering it out. So using the side of my brush, so it doesn't look stripy. You never wanna see the contour. It should look like there's a light above your head and that's how you're getting that shading. So for the cheeks, you're gonna measure the sideburn to the corner of your mouth, and that's the placement, which is typically right under your cheekbone to contour. And you never wanna forget the forehead because naturally we're always gonna have color from the sun, especially in California, 
on these areas. So you, you can't forget the forehead and the hairline. You know I love that sun. I see why you wanted your hair up now. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like... It's okay. It I has a mind hair. of its own. <laughs> All right, so now we are on to the nose. So let's get a little bit up close and personal for that nose. So what you want to do is take your brush with no product and you're going to measure the center of your nostril, which is where your eyebrow begins right there. This brush is uh, flat when I use it this way, but I can also use it this way. So that becomes more of like a strategic uh, placement. If you feel like this is too thick for you, then I would recommend using a smaller, more defined brush. Hey Mandy. And so this is gonna be ideal to follow the center of your nostril up to where the eyebrow begins. You never wanna forget the tip of your nose. This is for a nose that is a little bit wider. If your nose is more narrow, then you're gonna highlight more to open it up. Um, you also wanna be careful for noses that might have like a slight bend. So it's up to you to measure if you follow those same guidelines, then that's always gonna be the way that you get a symmetrical kind of effect. All right, so this is a step that a lot of people forget. After highlighting and contouring, you wanna go back with a larger kabuki style brush, just like this, and you're gonna give everything an overall blend with her color. So that would be right in here. Not too much, just like a sheer amount. I'm a big mixer, you guys. So I'm gonna take those two colors, and I want all of these colors to melt together so it doesn't look like she has a ton of foundation on. Describe to our viewers what the pressure is. It's very light. Awesome. Um, you're pretty much blending it with a touch. Right. That means there's not a lot of products on your brush. Exactly. Yeah, so this, think of it as like really infusing and melting the creams onto your face. And the key is to properly prime and moisturize your skin before you do any of this. Because if you put foundation on skin that's not primed, it's gonna look cracked, it's gonna look dry, it's gonna look cakey. So the idea is to keep it minimal. The better you take care of your skin, the better your makeup is gonna look. Mm -hmm. Look up. That's the key. Mm -hmm. And you help us too. <laughs> exactly. And go ahead and close your eyes. So we are pretty much done with her complexion. Go ahead and uh, show us some hearts if you guys are feeling it, if you like that highlight contour. Again, we used only this palette by RCMA, uh, the Matte HD Liquid Foundation. It's amazing. This is probably like a medium coverage because I added three total shades, highlight, contour, and my transitional color, which is basically her color. How funny is this? My dog oh my chewed this brush. <laughs> I know my dog chewed this brush, but I can't let this brush go because it's one of my favorite kabuki styles mm -hmm. and it really <laughs> melts. <laughs> so I just love this brush. And it's um, in, so you can't really exactly. replace it. <laughs> I see the difference already. Thank you. Makeup by, thank you for doing this. I'm learning so much. You're one of the biggest inspirations. Aw, thank you, Makeup by CC. I really appreciate that. Um, well, once we are done with that, the next step is to lock it in. So again, staying with Ben Nye, I'm gonna go with our Media Pro uh, HD powder palette. So I'm gonna have you hold that, Karen. Thank you for the hearts, you guys. And um, so yeah, basically I have my highlights and my contours all in one hand. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a large powder brush by Ben Nye, this is PA151. And I'm going to start with colors that are closer to Karen's skin tone, which is going to be over here. So while I have my beautiful friend here, I wanted to share a little bit of insight with you guys. I've known Karen for how long? We met at MAC Cosmetics. Long time ago. More than well, 10 years. We were like little babies. We were. Close we your eyes. <laughs> yes, we have lots of TBT throwback pictures. Um, and we, yeah, we started at MAC Glendale and we eventually worked together again and reunited at Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, and then- He you, was my boss. Yes, I was. It was the best time <laughs> of my life. It was fun. He was the best boss ever. Aww. You were. And then we also always kept our freelance careers and 
tried to collaborate and we made our portfolios kind of grow together, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So I would love for you to share with everybody like what you do and uh, just talk a little bit about like where you come from. Um, well, I'm from LA, I'm a native, you know, born and raised. Um, woo woo. Woo woo. Represent. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, you know, just been pretty much around the area, you know, and I'm a makeup artist as well. Um, I do freelance, I work um, part time at Naming's. Yes, um, go visit her at Naming's, you guys. Yes. She's really great at walking you through all the products in the store, so. Make sure you visit Karen Mena at Namie's. And Namie's is like heaven. So many if good you products. Been, you're missing you're, out. Missing out, <laughs> yeah. You walk in and you, you see the lights. You're like, oh. <laughs> yeah. It's one of those places. So we have a question from Roxy. How do you keep your creativity inspired? Sometimes it's hard with social media trends. Yeah, I agree. Um, this is why I do this. This is why I like to go live with friends that are in the industry, active freelance working makeup artists, because it's easily to look at someone else's portfolio or uh, Instagram and compare yourself to them. And my biggest advice would be to not compare yourself to that person because, um, you know, there's if everyone's gonna have different styles. Whatever, exactly. You, know? you have to pursue your own, your own aesthetic, your own craft, and the way you do that is by like what we're doing now and just yeah. collaborating Same. with other. Exactly. Practice, practice, practice. Yeah, we got so. in this business not because we want to be serious. It's because it's an art and it's always going to be fun for us. Yeah. And why not make it fun? Exactly. So maybe you can share with everybody like what keeps you inspired? How do you stay motivated as a, as a freelance makeup artist? Mm, money? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> yes, <laughs> give me those big girl coins. Right. Um, Again, just watching um, artists like you, you know, just, um, you know, staying uh, close to my friends and, you know, just... It's like creating that circle, yeah, right? Yeah, creating that circle with those people that you want to bond with and, you know, actually learn from and learn together. It's mutual. Mutual. Not always thinking that you know it all because you don't, you know, make up. We never stop learning. You never stop learning. Trends are different. You just have to follow the good trends, you know, not, right. the, not the ones that are like... I don't know how to explain it, but you know. The ones are more realistic that more somebody real would wear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like I'm not gonna walk around with a rainbow on my eye. Or like a squiggle like, brow. A squiggle brow. What was Which that? is fun to look at, but <laughs> I don't know if that'll work for a wedding. Yeah. But that was a great question, Roxy. Thank you for asking that. Um, hey boo, Chanti Rosado, <laughs> Valentina. I love how natural it looks. I know, right? I used, um, hey Thomas. I use the Media Pro palettes to highlight, contour, and set her. So I use these two to highlight yellow, which is their banana pressed powder, uh, which pretty much put them on the map when back when Kardashians were using it. <laughs> and then I use these two to contour. So it's looking real good. All right, you guys. So I had an opportunity to make my own blush palette at Ben Eye yesterday. <laughs> sure did. You know, I got to go big. <laughs> So these are the colors that I chose. Come on, how beautiful is this palette? I'm like obsessed. Ever since I've known Andrew, he's a walking rainbow. Stop. Like, no, I'm serious, <laughs> I love it though. I know, look at that. I am obsessed. Can I just put like... <laughs> <laughs> he would, he could, I love it. No, I'm gonna go with colors that are closer to her lip color. So that's usually how I determine the proper blush. So. She has like a natural mauvey pinky rose, so these two. So as she smiles, I focus right on that apple, and it's not going to stay that intense. I bounce back and forth so I can evenly distribute that beautiful pigment, and I slightly connect it to my contour. So that's kind of what makes it look more natural, because blush doesn't naturally sit like all the way back there. It looks like I have that kissing filter little heart. there's no filters on right here you guys this is all natural well not natural but you know what i mean <laughs> somewhat natural yeah love it all right so we are done with our ben eye products for the moment uh, i'm gonna move on to pink pewter and um the first thing that i'm gonna do is start to use one of their palettes as an eyeshadow base so this is pink pewter i love their packaging it's super cute it's like a black lacquer uh, with a compact mirror. So it looks like there's colors to um, highlight, contour. This one in the center has a little bit of like a sheen and a shimmer. So let's take a look at what this looks like. 
uh, Makeup by CC. I don't have one where I live. I hear Toddy talking about it on YouTube. It looks like he makeup heaven. <laughs> yeah, I believe you can also purchase online. Would you ever come out with makeup in the future? Oh, stay tuned because maybe that's in the works. Yes, I would love to have my own line um, in the future. Roxy, what do you think of the light bulb in the nose with the highlighter? Oh, like highlight? Like oh, in the center? Uh-huh. I don't mind it. Yeah, a no, subtle. subtle. I think it, you right. have to have the right kind of nose for it. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely Not the everybody. right type of nose. For sure. All right, so let's move on to the eyes. So I'm going to start by using this uh, palette with the shimmer onto her eyelid. And this will pretty much be my eyeshadow primer. Notice that I have not done her eyebrows. That's intentional. I'm going to focus on the blendabilities and uh, the saturation of the highlights on her eyelid before I approach the brows. It's funny because when I do my own makeup, you start with I your start brows. With my brows. I knew yeah. it. And see, and that's good. Everybody has like their methods and their procedures. Um, whatever works for you. It just takes forever to do your eyebrows yeah because i need them symmetric you know mm. psycho about the brows we are <laughs> psychotica <laughs> all right so now this amazing palette also by pink pewter oh sorry i have powder on it i need to wipe that down okay. um ta-da look at all these amazing colors so i'm gonna have you hold that like right by your face perfect and let's go ahead and start um this way okay yeah right there on my yeah, and so I'm gonna start with the lighter colors first um, underneath her eyebrow. Hello, pinup girl. So I'm gonna use um, this light beige and gold under her eyebrow. Oh, I'm liking that. I know, me too. And using the same brush, I just kind of flipped it over and I'm lightly stippling it underneath her eyebrow, um, all the way above her brow bone, slightly towards her crease. So I like to start from top to bottom and work with my lighter colors and then my medium colors and the darker colors after. But what do you guys think? Show us some hearts. Uh, nice palette, love to see how she looks, yes. All right, moving on to her main color on her lid. I love like mauves and warm colors on olive skin tone like Karen so I'm gonna start with this cranberry looking color on the inner corner and again that cream that we use as a primer is great because it's absorbing all those pigments and making it look a lot more intense it's also gonna help it last longer beautiful yeah, you look great in those colors. All right, next is a medium color. So I'm gonna go with like a bronzier, kind of copper gold, which is right up here. And that's gonna go right in the center. That was weird, I opened one eye. What's, yeah, had opened one eye? Yeah. <laughs> You're like, oh. Yeah. Gorgeous. All right, and now for the outer corner, I'm gonna go with a darker, bronzier shade. So that's gonna be over here. Notice how he's using the same brush. Yes, I am using the same brush. Great observation, Karen. I even have like 10 already. Like. Yeah. Well, I, I appreciate how it helps like blend and build the colors. So. You're just magical. Stop. <laughs> And now I'm stippling on the outer corner. Honestly, you know what helped me like be this fast what? was working at MAC. At MAC. We had yeah. to like bust them out, right? <laughs> yeah, we had to do about, look, no fallout either. I know, I like that. We had to do like four makeups an hour, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this brush I'm is clean. Easy, yes, with lashes. There's nothing on this brush. I'm gonna go in now and start to kind of slightly blend these colors together. Um, right now I have a cranberry, a gold, a bronze, and they're all shimmery. So what would you recommend, Karen, after using so much shimmer? A matte, for sure. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So now we're gonna go back with our uh, Ben Nye palette, which was right over here. 
I'm gonna hold that. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna start to create more dimension by using mats and breaking up all this texture. And the way you do that is by lifting the chin and looking down and you can find your natural crease, perfect. Yes, come through crease. <laughs> this really changes the game. It gives it more dimension. It creates an illusion that you have a lot more elongated eye space. Um, it, of course, if you do it properly, because you can also add too much contour and close mm -hmm. and create a narrow effect. And then for sure, I'm going to move on to You're Pretty. <laughs> Um, there was a color that I saw. Where did it go? This one, right on the outside. It's like a. It reminds you of sketch. Mm, yeah, I sketch, love sketch and like. You have this other one that's more burgundy. I forget what it's called. It's and that's really gonna pretty. go right. So notice that I'm tapping off the excess, so I don't get a huge like. She got punched in the eye effect. <laughs> it's never a good thing and. Just lightly swiping back and forth like a little U. And that really just amps up the whole look. Gorge, soft. There's nothing really under the lower lash line at the moment. So I'm gonna go ahead and start to use a mini shader and add, stay away from the reds. Use more like bronze or dark brown. Look up. Gorgeous. Lovely. So her mm -hmm. left eye is contoured completely. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you taking the time. What do you think? Oh, we already answered that. Nice palette. Yay. Gorgeous. All right, let's move on to the other side. Chin up. So it's like starting to get that dimension and then lightly sweeping into the crease and then we focus on the lower lash line. Que bonita. Mm, me gusta. Si, me gusta mucho. <laughs> Look up. What are some of your favorite moments um, from our friendship and work relationship? We've done like so many cool gigs yeah, together too. Know. We've done body makeups, we've done like <laughs> oh, some my crazy stuff. Oh shit, what show. happened? Can you guys see us? With the, I'm gonna end this and then come back again because I, for some reason, lost you guys. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna end this and restart. Sorry, guys.